Hi, everybody, and welcome to this Bulls update. My name is Paul Peck, radio voice of Bulls football, joined by Bulls radio color analyst Jim Kubiak. We're here at UB Stadium following the football team's big 41-17 victory over Ohio. Jim, a much-needed win against a big rival, and it really may have turned the season around as well as the Bulls played here this afternoon. A great rebound game. I mean, they came out and really got after Ohio. And, you know, from having a road loss like the, they did last week to come out here and play as well as they did was very, very impressive. The tone was set by the defense. It would be a huge day for the defense, but the tone was set in the first quarter when Ryan Williamson picked off the pass of quarterback Darius Vick and returned it 15 yards for a touchdown. After Ohio had scored on their first drive, I thought the momentum shift came right there. Because Ohio came down and on the first drive, took it down and scored, and Buffalo was on their heels a little bit, but that play made all the difference. And Buffalo comes back after that and stops Ohio and then scores again. A really huge play and momentum wise. First of two defensive scores for the Bulls. They're now up to six this season. That should likely lead the country as the Bulls were tied for first coming into this game. But the defense was the story, Jim. And we'll talk about the offense in a moment. But four takeaways, four sacks by the defense. They hold Ohio under 40 yards rushing. Career highs and tackles for Nick Gilbo and Brandon Berry and Ryan Williamson and Akazi Alozi with two picks, including one for a touchdown. Boy, the defense, which has been good all season long, really took a step up. They did, and they got after the quarterback, but not only that, but they really confused the quarterback. And when they got up on Darius Vick, he struggled to read the coverage, and great job by defensive coordinator Brian Borland for dialing up all those post-snap coverages that really confused the quarterback and resulted in turnovers. Yeah, and the offense did their part. Obviously, the defense scoring twice certainly helps, but Jordan Johnson in his first career start for the injured Anthony Taylor, career high 147 yards rushing but when he gets going he's a big powerful back and he's hard to stop battering ram north and south and he got it going today and it was a big day for him his first start as a ub bowl and he answers the bell two touchdowns and about 150 yards rushing. He did a great job in protection, too, and he was the engine that kept it going. All right, well, as you might imagine, it was a happy Buffalo locker room. Let's check on some post-game comments from the Bulls players and Coach Lance Leipold. Uh, we were clicking, um, and I think it. <clears throat> there's two things it starts with. It starts with, one, the defense got us fired up. Um, you know, those guys are playing phenomenal football. Uh, I'm glad we don't have to play against them on Saturdays. But, um, and then the second thing is, is our offensive line. Um, I thought they did a great job all day. Um, finally burst one open at the, the last drive, second last drive, I guess, um, getting Spring and JJ free. Um, those guys work extremely hard during the week and, and it paid off today. Kind of the game that you like where you can win by, by a margin and still know you have a lot to improve on yet and, and that we do. We knew we could do it. We knew we just had to put it all together and today it was all together. So. If we can keep, when we keep doing this, we'll be a successful team. Well, Jim, as you could imagine, those guys are pretty fired up. They don't have a whole lot of time to refocus because the Bulls go right back to work and play a Thursday night game at Miami of Ohio. But I can't help but think that this is the kind of game that can really turn a season around and get momentum going in the right place. And we'll see what happens Thursday against a 1-7 and seven Miami Redhawks team. It's a short week, so the guys are really going to have to get prepared mentally, and it's going to be a road trip as well. But you know they're really excited to get back to 500, and I think they smell a little blood in the water, and they're going to go after it. That's the Miami Redhawks game in in Miami. That's Thursday night kickoff at 730. Thanks for joining us for this Bulls update.